एचसी वर्मा चैप्टर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट द मंकी प्रॉब्लम द मंकी बी सोन इन फिगर इज होल्डिंग ऑन द टेल ऑफ मंकी ए विच इज क्लाइंबिंग अपर ओप द मासेस ऑफ द मंकीज ए एंड बी आर फाइव के जी एंड टू के जी रेस्पेक्टिवली इफ ए कैन टोलरेट टेंशन ऑफ थर्टी न्यूटन इन द टेल वॉट फोर्स शुड इट अप्लाई ऑन द रोप टू कैरी मंकी विद इट दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी सोल्व बाई टू मेथड मेथड वन लेट्स फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ द टू मंकीज फॉर मंकी ए द फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन इट आर the force of gravity that is ma into g that is 50 newton tension in the rope t1 and tension in its tail vertically downward t2 for monkey be the forces acting on it are force of gravity that is mb into g that is 20 newton and tension in the tail that it is holding that is t2 in order to keep the tension to minimum the monkey will move up without any acceleration so the net force acting on both the monkeys must be equal to zero therefore the gravitational force acting on monkey b must be equal to the tension that is mbg is equal to t2 this implies t2 is equal to 20 newton in monkey a balancing the forces in vertical direction we get t1 is equal to t2 plus mag that is t1 is equal to 20 plus 50 is equal to 70 newton so 70 newton is the minimum force that the monkey a has to apply on the rope in order to move up Now, in order to find the maximum tension that monkey A can apply on the rope, let's assume that both the monkeys are moving up with an acceleration A. In this case, in the free body diagram of monkey B, the tension T2 must be equal to 30 newton, which is the maximum force that the tail can tolerate, and gravitational force will remain same as 20 newton. Writing the forces in vertical direction, we get T2 minus mbg is equal to mba, which implies 2a is equal to 30 minus 20. that is acceleration is 5 meter per second square now in the free body diagram of monkey a the forces acting on it downward is t2 that is tension in its tail which is at its maximum value of 30 newton and gravitational force of course remains same as 50 newton and it is moving upward with acceleration a which we have calculated to be 5 meter per second square writing the forces in vertical direction we get t1 minus t2 minus mag is equal to ma into a which implies t1 minus 30 newton minus 15 newton must be equal to 25 newton thus t1 is equal to 105 newton therefore the minimum force that monkey a can apply on the rope to move up is 70 newton when it will move with no acceleration and the maximum force that it can apply is 105 newton at which the tension in its tail is maximum thus the monkey can apply 70 newton to 105 newton on the rope to move up now let us look at the alternate method whenever two or more particles are moving with same acceleration we can take them as a system so in this case let us take monkey a and b together as a system so the mass of the system is sum of masses of both the monkeys that is 7 kg now the forces acting on this system are the tension in the string that monkey a is holding and weight of the two monkeys combined that is 17 newton in case of minimum value of tension both the monkeys will move up without any acceleration and therefore the net force in vertical direction must be zero this gives us t1 must be equal to 70 newton to find the maximum value of acceleration let's just look at the free body diagram of monkey b the forces acting on it is t2 that is tension in the tail and which is at its maximum value of 30 newton its weight that is 20 newton and it is moving upward with some acceleration a writing the forces in vertical direction we get t2 minus mbg is equal to mba which implies 30 minus 20 is equal to 2a and this gives acceleration as 5 meter per second square now getting back to the free body diagram of both the monkeys combined the forces acting on it is t1 that is tension in the rope that a is holding and weight of both the monkeys and this system is moving upward with acceleration a that is 5 meter per second square so the equation of the forces in vertical direction becomes t1 minus mg is equal to ma that is t1 minus 70 newton is equal to 35 newton we get m is equal to 35 newton because mass is 7 kg and acceleration we have calculated to be 5 meter per second square thus t1 becomes 105 newton so the minimum and maximum force that monkey can apply on rope is 70 newton and 105 newton to request any solution of hc verma book just post the question number and chapter number in comment section subscribe our channel for further updates thank you for watching